All right, Scott, and uh, are you looking for a job, but uh, not really finding a good fit out there? Josh Connor, Frank Cabrera from JobFest joining us with more about, <laughs> I want to call this almost like the little known hidden jobs. First of all, why are you hiding it? It seems like uh, not all jobs are out there online. Uh, they actually, uh, Forbes magazine said at the end of last year, 70% of jobs are not posted publicly. Really? So, uh, so is that because they're looking for internal applicants? It kind so, of is. That's, that's how the way that we need to go find them is, again, networking. You're going to hear us say that a lot is networking. Mm -hmm. You have to talk to your family and friends and talk to those business owners and those managers and find out exactly what jobs they do have available. Don't just rely even on JobFest. You still need to go out and hit the pavement and see what you can find. Yeah, w what's a way to approach something like this, Frank? Well, one way is to approach it is to figure out what's out there. So, for example, okay. have you ever heard of an echocardiologist technician? Uh, of course, I, <laughs> of course right. I have. Yeah. Yes. So, so it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a position that not a lot of people know about. Okay. But if you if you look at the medical industry, look at okay, you have an echocardiologist, right? Right. They have technicians that help with echocardiology. So how can I get into like a specialized field like that that not a lot of people know about, but I can have a competitive advantage because I found out that there's such a job that exists. You know, you talked about uh, talking to family uh, and these things aren't always in job fest out there. Uh, is there one field, like you just mentioned, medical field, is there one field that these are more prevalent in? No. compared to others or is this just sort of widespread it's kind of widespread you just have to get in the mindset of looking at everything let's say mm -hmm. for this table where did this table come from it didn't come from ikea no it probably started at a recycling. <laughs> i don't think it did it went from a recycling plant to a truck driver to a manufacturing facility to a warehouse to a store you have to and look there's at a half dozen everything. jobs right there you have to look who, who's heard of a recycling plant hiring mm -hmm. i bet you they're out there but they don't post that kind of stuff whether it's funding or advertising costs or whatever they're just not out there so you just always have your eyes open and think where did this come from and then like he said about the cardiologist if that's your goal start down here network start learning the position and mm -hmm. you'll move yourself up how many times uh, do you see things do you think people miss it when friends or whomever online social media will throw out little things you got to read between the lines and tell hey that person's saying so-and-so is leaving their company how often does that happen well that happens when you're not communicating what you want mm -hmm. not communicating that you're even in the market for a job so make sure that you are communicating with all the people the network around you you'd be surprised the types of positions that your family your friends know about as Josh mentioned mm -hmm. networking is huge making sure rather than Facebook yeah I'm out of a job Facebook hey I'm in a, I'm looking for a job and I'd like to connect with you today more of a positive more of a approach positive. to that going on. that's right all right the hidden jobs that are out. it's not there <laughs> All right, thanks, gentlemen, for coming in today. Josh, Frank, appreciate it. Awesome. Thought it was back there. Now, let's go to Elena right now. <laughs>